What's up guys, back again today with another video. A real exciting day. I just got the Apple Studio display in and uh, we're just gonna do a quick unboxing and then I'm gonna set it up and just give you some of my thoughts about it. I've been using my uh, MacBook Pro 16 inch with the uh, M1 Max. That's my primary editing computer. And I've been using a lot of monitors in the past and uh, I've always been waiting for a new monitor ever since the Apple Cinema display back in the day. Man, that display was so nice. And uh, yeah, ever since that display, I've been upgraded to, I've been using a Dell uh, 4K display. And uh, yeah, really just happy that Apple is back in the display game. All right, let's get unboxing. Hey. All right. Even this one, easy to take out, man. Look at that bad boy right there. Boom. Boom. Studio display. There's a little strap there. Flip it around. So it looks like. Okay. Oh, I gotta flip this around again. What's going on? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I think they want me to put it down. These sides come out. Okay, okay, okay. What is this box? Whoa! Box, whoa! Box, whoa! Holy, okay. Probably should have laid it down. Oh, damn. Is it okay? Is it all right? Oh, man, that was scary. Should have laid the box. I should have laid the box down. Imagine it just destroyed the computer like that. That would have been... Ridiculous. Oh my god. Holy cow. I can't believe it just fell out of the box. Oh my god. Can you, ima can you imagine if the screen is just destroyed? I would be so sad. What we got in here. Okay. Braided Thunderbolt cable. Some uh, paperwork right here. And of course, come on, the stickers. Black Apple stickers. So it's like a thick paper that they have on this. Uh, all right, let's take off this thing here. Nice. Okay, that's cool. It's like a little case for it, that's cool. So I got the standard stand of this. Like I didn't really uh, want to shell out $400 for this adjustable stand. Hopefully that doesn't bite me in the butt, but uh, I use a monitor stand so I can kind of adjust the height of it. I find monitors usually kind of low anyways, so hopefully that's fine. Ooh, satisfying. That is satisfaction right there. Oh, there it is. This is the, uh, this is the standard display as well, not the nano texture coating. And, uh, um, you can see by the reflections right now, it's quite reflective. But once I have it set up and turned on, we'll, uh, we'll get a better look at it and we'll see, we'll see what we, uh, how it is. Let's take out this guy. The old monitor is out. So the LG Ultrafine. Ooh, clicks in satisfyingly. There it is, works. Uh, I didn't destroy it when I unboxed it, so that's really good. All right, so I've been using the monitor for a bit now and uh, it's a beautiful display. It's basically just like the uh, 27 inch LG Ultrafine, like I said. Um, but I've been encountering some weird uh, problems. I've been noticing it's been like randomly disconnecting and flickering, which is a huge problem, obviously. Um, it was really annoying, so uh, I've done the update to my Mac, and right now I'm updating the Studio Display. So the Studio Display does have an A14 chip in it, which is really unique, and that allows it to do uh, software updates, I believe. Um, so we're gonna update the display, we're gonna update my Mac, and then uh, we're just gonna see how it is. Hopefully the problem doesn't persist, because then maybe I got a lemon, and that would be very bad. Okay. So the display was doing all right, it was working for like an hour, and then all of a sudden, all of a sudden now it's, uh, it just stopped, and now it's just 
blank screen and uh, it's just like stuck on repeating a song. Do that. Let's try plugging it out. Is it the cable? I wonder if it's the cable. You turn on. Okay, we're back. The heck is going on here? All right, guys. Just a little late night update. Um, I did some more tests, trying to figure out what's going on with all the flickering and stuff. I updated my display, didn't help. Updated the software, didn't help. So it turns out it was actually the Thunderbolt cable. So I actually changed the, uh, swapped out the Thunderbolt cable with my old LG Ultrafine. There you go. LG Ultrafine down here. Let's grab the lightning cable. And it works now. There it is. All right, some final thoughts on this display. After working out that, technical difficulty with the Thunderbolt cable. The display isn't flawless, it's all good now. Yeah, just like my thoughts on the display, who this display is for, I think this is definitely a display for someone who's in the Apple ecosystem, who likes Apple products and wants something that's Apple and like goes well with all the Apple products that they have. So I'm in that use case. Uh, I have a MacBook Pro and it just connects to it. One cable charges it. The screen display matches very nicely, so my workflow is not interrupted. Of course, you know, it'd be really nice to have HDR, it'd be really nice to have high fresh rate, but I do not game, so I don't really care about that. And the HDR is not a huge deal to me. Like, if I need to view something in HDR, I could always just view it on the MacBook Pro. And like, when you're looking at HDR and all that, and you want an Apple display, you're looking at the XDR, which costs a crazy amount of money. Of course, I would love that display, but for now, this is what I can afford. And for the price of what I can afford, this is probably the best solution for me. And then just the thoughts on the webcam. Yeah, like everyone said, it's really soft and uh, you can see. But center stage is really cool. I like that. I like not having buying an external webcam. Before, I was just using my MacBook Pro, so that cuts that out of the picture. And uh, it's just having it all integrated into one monitor is really nice. Uh, the speakers are really good, but I use like desktop speakers and it doesn't beat those out, especially uh, in the bass category. Uh, it's nice having speakers directly built into your monitor that also does a really good job. They are really nice speakers. The best speakers probably in a display. Definitely blows the, the doors out of the LG Ultrafine. I used to listen to the speakers and those are terrible. <laughs> this is really, really good. But yeah, those are just my thoughts. I think I think I really like this monitor. Obviously, the price to value isn't the best for what you can get out there. But nothing else looks like this, and nothing does this like Apple. So that's why I justify the cost, and I justify the use case for it. But yeah, that's my thoughts on it. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have a monitor that you really like that I should check out. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.